I'm Franz Genoveva. I'm the manager of Former Heights Homeownership Association. Uh, that's in Hatboro, Montgomery County. Um, we are standing in a, in, in a uh, pit that we are putting in an infiltration bed to hold back rainwater um, that will help the environment and help our community. Chris, uh, why don't you um, explain about how this structure is put together? Thanks, Fran. I'm Chris. I'm the executive director of the Pennypack Ecological Restoration Trust. And Fran and I are standing on a bunch of these R-Tank units. They're basically strong milk crates, if you will. And they're 96% void space. So they're designed to take all the storm water from this parking lot that's about three feet above our feet, as well as the rooftop of this uh, social club next to us. All of that water comes into a drain. It fills these tanks below our feet. And then from there, it infiltrates into the soil rather than all of this coming off of a rooftop onto a parking lot and then shooting out into a creek and digging out the sides and the bottom of that creek. So I'm down here, head height is about where the parking lot elevation is going to be. And uh, actually another probably two to four feet below my feet is another lift of these R tanks. So what you're looking at are stacks of R tanks that are wrapped in fabric. Um, and that's where the cistern, that is the cistern. And these things are transferring the load from the finished parking lot down to the ground while holding open space for the water to come in and hold it there and let it infiltrate. This is an observation port. Now, obviously it's much taller than we need. Um, once they finish backfilling this hole, which we have about another three and a half, maybe four feet, um, it, they'll cut this flush with the, with the blacktop and then put a lid on that. And that allows us to be able to see how much water is actually in this, this cistern um, from time to time. I, I, I'm very thankful for you guys being able to educate me in knowing and in, in, in learning how um, how to hold on to this water and not just get rid of it and let it flush downstream because everybody gets affected the environment people um, you know it's not good so the, the nice thing is that um, we've been able to partner with Penny Pack um, Ecological Trust uh, and the people that were able to put money together to allow us to have this. So it's a great thing. I'm really I'm really thankful that you were able to do this for us. Thanks, Fran. I, and this is really a, a tremendous opportunity to work with a great board, to work with a great partner, uh, and also to work with a township that also gets it, right? Upper Moreland Township has been really supportive of this effort from the very beginning, uh, and of course, uh, William Penn Foundation through their Delaware River Watershed Initiative. They're the ones who challenged us to do this in the, at the very beginning. Um, so with the help of William Penn Foundation and DRWI and NIFWIF, it's been a fantastic moment for all of us to come together about stormwater.